Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how I made this cool looking collage animation. I'm gonna show you how I created the assets, then we're gonna go into After Effects and build it. So with that said, let's begin. Let's go through the assets first. Since this is a collage animation, I used a lot of different textures as you can see. A majority of these are self-explanatory, but I do want to go through a few of those assets to give you guys a better understanding. For the character animation, I got this image, I took it into Photoshop, removed the background, then sliced it up so we can animate this in After Effects. I made the head a little bit bigger than usual and also added these circles to line up the anchor points when we're gonna go animate them. I saved this as a layer PSD so I can import this into its own composition and animate it in After Effects. Another thing I made was this hanging metal beam in which our character will sit. This was done merging these two images, then colored it black and white and added a halftone effect by going filter, pixelate, color halftone. The last thing was added the hands. Basically I got a video and rendered a couple of frames from it then took them into Photoshop, removed the background, turned them into black and white and added the same halftone effect. As I said earlier, for the rest of the assets are quite self-explanatory and I'm gonna show you how I use them in After Effects. So now let's go to After Effects and see how the final animation was made. So in After Effects, I imported all the assets. I created a new 1920 by 1080p comp and named it BG. I imported the white paper texture. I started animating its position, scale and rotation and once I was happy with it, I turned all the keyframes into hold keyframes, then looped them using the loop out expression. After this I dropped the grid paper texture and changed the blending mode to multiply to get some more variation. I brought in this half tone texture, then added the roughen edges effect by going effect, stylize, roughen edges. I modified the border value till I was happy with it and then like before I animated its position, scale and rotation, turned the keyframes into hold keyframes and added the same loop out expression to loop it. And this is our background done. Now for the character. I opened the character comp where all the PSD were nested. Then I realigned all their anchor points. I animated the hand, head and leg using simple rotation keyframes and looped them. After this I dropped the chain with metal base peak into its own composition and adjusted the comp to make it a bit taller. I adjusted the image a bit and then dropped in our character animation comp. Renamed it and our simple character animation was done. After this I created a new comp 1080 by 1080 and named it base. I dragged the two base layers I made in illustrator into this comp and adjusted their scale and position. After this I interpret this texture animation to 12 frames and looped it couple more times. I dragged this over the base and turned the preserve transparency button so it's only visible on the base layers. I added a curve to it and adjusted its alpha value so it's not that much pronounced. I set the blending mode to overlay and added a roughen edges to add a bit more variation to it. In the bottom base layer I added a fill effect and changed it to a bit more darker color. I dragged this building image into its own composition. I tinted it and then used a curve effect to add a bit more contrast to the image. Then I created an yellow solid and created a mask over it. I used the same animated texture and added to the side of the building using the track mat feature. After this I duplicated the yellow solid and put it behind the texture. I added a fill effect and changed the color of the texture then added a curve effect to drop down its overall visibility to make it a bit more subtle. I changed the blending mode of the bottom yellow layer to pin light and this is our background building done. 
For the hand, I created a new 1080 by 1080p comb, then dragged those hand images, trimmed them for 2 frames long, and then sequenced them. After this, I dragged in the white paper image and created a rough mask for each of the hand frames to set in the background. After this, I just duplicated the hand layers and the background paper layers till the comp was filled and we got our hand animation. The text animation was simple too. I created a new custom comp 1200x400p, then dragged in the newspaper texture. I animated its position, then changed the keyframes to hold keyframes. After this, I created a white shape layer and animated its points from left to right. After this, I put the newspaper texture over the shape layer and turned on the preserve transparency button so it's only visible on the shape layer. I added some blur to it cause it was looking too prominent. I imported that white paper texture and placed it where there's a lot of shadow area on the paper. I used the preserve transparency button and changed the blending mode to multiply. Then added a curve adjustment and changed the value so the contrast is really visible. This gives this whole thing a bit more papery look I think. I added a text layer then put it under the white paper texture and bring down its opacity a bit. Click on the preserve transparency button for the text layer and the text was done. Time for the final animation. For the final build, I created a new 1920x1080p comp. I dragged the BG, base and building comp inside it. First I animated the position of the base and then I animated the building's position and rotation. Turned all the keyframes into hold keyframes for that janky movement. Once I was happy with it, I bought in the character with the beam comp, repositioned its anchor point to the top and started animating its position and rotation. Same as before, I turned all the keyframes into hold keyframes. After this, I offsetted these three comps so they don't start all at the same time. Then I dragged in the text comp, adjusted its scale and position and placed it in the timeline so it starts when the character settles down. I duplicated this text comp in the project panel, then double click on it and went inside it and changed the text there. After this, I put this new text comp in the timeline and like before, adjusted its scale and position. I added a photo filter effect by going effect, color correction, photo filter and adjusted the tint so it's a bit more on the reddish brown color scheme. I also copy pasted this effect to the other text comp. So both of the text comps stand out from the background a little bit. I imported the hand comp and started adjusting its scale. Then I animated its position and rotation. The keys were turned into whole keyframes and for the rotation I added an expression so it keeps on rotating after it reached its place. The same process was done to the other hand just with different values and this is how the hands were added to the animation. I also added a solid yellow layer and animated its scale value and put it under the building and timed it to the rest of the animation. After this, I added a little bit of noise and then created a solid with fractal noise effect applied over it. In the fractal noise effect, I scaled it up, then turned the complexity to 1. I animated its evolution with a time expression and then opened up the sub settings and added the same time expression to the sub rotation. This will allow the fractal to rotate over time. I added a mask to it and subtracted it, feathered it a whole bunch, set the blending mode to multiply and turned down the opacity. I put this layer under the noise layer and the final animation was finished with an adjustment layer with posterized time effect set to 12. Now with these tricks, I'm just covering a very basic set of animation. Collage animation can be much more detailed and complex looking. So please, experiment with different types of movement and assets. If you guys want a deeper look inside this project, you can get this project file from the link in the description. If you like this tutorial, leave a like, comment, 
share this video and do subscribe for more motion graphics content like this. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.